as we begin to explore what the discovery of Gliese 581C could provide, we first must view things in relation to appreciate what it all could mean. Gliese 581 is a diminutive red dwarf star that is about one third of mass, as, 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 as massive, as massive, as massive as the sun. Discovered on April 24th, 2007 by a team of some Ukrainians. <laughs> With respect to Earth, it is the 87th closest star system. Where's 88? It is 1.5 times Earth's size and has five times Earth's mass with 2.2 times the gravitational pull. It's old, about as old as where we come from. Is it habitable? Read, read. You, was, it, was, it, was it habitable? The idea is that where liquid water exists, life exists. The estimated temperature on average is way cold or way hot, which means liquid water is possible. What is your name? Cat. Short for Catherine, of course. Yeah. <laughs> now that I think about it. <laughs> uh, I am IB in theater. You act or you do stage? Uh, I do more technical design and stuff. Cool. And I'm majoring in electrical engineering and computer science. What's your name, sir? Isan. Isan? Isan. So you're working on your master's now? I got a PhD. I, went to, I got my master's PhD? from SF State um, back in here. I love the Cal State system. It's great. So, so what? Physics? I'm, I'm, doing math. I'm doing math now. I'm doing, I'm okay. doing, I've, I've switched from physics to math. All right. We're talking to my man right here. Your name is, sir? T-Rex. T-Rex. You do all this? Yes. That's cool. It's good stuff. Have you heard of the new planet Gliese 581C? I have. Thank you for lying to us. We appreciate it. <laughs> there is no Gliese 581C, is there? And I'm, I'm sitting here going, yeah, I've heard of this shit. <laughs> so, so I thought, I saw the headline in the news that said there were 28 new planets found. So I mentioned that to him this morning. What and, did I say? And what did he say? We still haven't got Earth right. That's like yeah. a person say, I found a new mole. Oh, I found a new pimple. There's a zit on my ass, but I'm still not washing properly. You know what I mean? Who cares how many places you got if you haven't harmoniously lived here yet? It was found in the constellation of Libra. What's your sign? Cancer. Cancer? We have cancer. a cancer? Cancer. We have two cancers. Like-minded individuals. That's probably why you guys get along. <laughs> Pisces. You're a Pisces. Water Pisces. sign. Yep, water. Yeah. Uh, it was found in the constellation of Libra. I am Libra. What is your sign? <laughs> <laughs> Cusp of Pisces and Aries. Fire and water. I'd say you're more Pisces than anything, so by the way you do your art. But at the same time, you probably got a lot of Aries in you. You're traveling man, huh? Yeah. He's the best of go. both worlds, I'd say. <laughs> in constant battle with himself, but it's fun to watch if you're a friend. Yeah, good time. How do you guys, you guys know each other? Yeah, man. How long you guys know? A month? A month? I met him in San Diego. Like, I met him right when I came down off some ecstasy. And his pictures were the ones I would have painted at that time, if I had a gift. He was selling art on the beach. We're in Berkeley. Yeah, he was selling art on the beach. I was selling weed. Um, and now I'm here. <laughs> okay, so you know how we, uh, in Star Trek, we're gallivanting across. Uh, yeah. galaxy. Don't I just wish? Yeah. <laughs> yep. Well, we need to, we need to new technology, right? Star Trek, they sort of make up warp drives, which let you which let you cheat and go there very very quickly. The way things look now, you can't do that. You got you got you have to, you can't you have to obey speed of light. You can still get there yourself in a reasonable amount of time if you're willing to let everyone else get 20 years older behind you. So what are you saying? By the time I get there, I would still be the same age? No, not the same age, but you can go... You, but everyone else would have aged? Yeah, yeah, that's how it works. Unfortunately, you, you, if it's, it's 20, say 20 light years away, you're not getting there in less than 20 years, no matter what you do. More like 40. It might have to you taken two years or years. I mean, you have to do the math. I haven't done that. But then you call home and see what's going on. And A, your message takes 20 years to get there. And then B, your whole family now is your entire trip, what, 40 years plus 20 years old, older. Uh -huh. And now they're dead. So, so people don't think would want to do that. It's, it's not quite as much fun as Star Trek. You, you'd really want sort of this magical engine which would do what Star Trek does. And that's where that's where Star Trek cheats. That's where every science, that's where most science fiction cheats because that's that's sort of horrible to think about. You, know, you leave and your family's now all dead and you're, you're somewhere else and you will never see them again. And so no one wants to think about that. So everybody makes up a magic, a magic engine which gets you there in a year. <laughs> 
<laughs> if I don't know that you need to build multi-million dollar space, it's consider what's infinite. Be better if we just got to know ourselves. That's right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Like, I don't think it's a waste of time or energy to discuss that if you want to detach yourself from the problems of the earth. But I think my time is better spent living it, you know, like, these are the things that are, these are the things I would like to be. I'm going to focus on this. I'm sure you think there's something out there. Well, that maybe we're not alone. According to Buddhism, it is possible. In court, Buddhism? Buddhism yeah. What, is, what does Buddhism say about that? As far as I know, we are just one of, one of them. Yeah. There's many, many out there. More ideas than we can hope to conquer. Supposedly, theoretically. Uh, I, mm, possibly? I don't know. I once said I was only going to live to the age of 27, and I'm now 27. <laughs> uh, it's possible. It's possible, but you don't believe? Belief, I don't think, enters into it. Yeah. How can I believe in it if there's no, I mean, knowledge? I mean, there's no empirical knowledge about aliens or not or what. Or Same reason I'm agnostic. Could be, could not be. My father says I'm scared to be an atheist because, you know, if it's true. <laughs> so you're agnostic. I don't even know what agnostic is. It means that you believe that you cannot know for certain if there is a higher power out there. So, well, there's belief right there. Uh, so therefore, you don't believe. Well, I'm Catholic, but I mean, I don't really practice it too much. Okay. Yeah, so I'm Buddhist, I'm, but I don't practice it much either. That's that's okay. Uh, I guess religion wouldn't affect how you would view any new planet or life form. Pretty uh, open that was to found. It. I, I, I'm, I'm an atheist. I'm an atheist. I'm an atheist. Yeah. Well, I don't see any reason to think otherwise. There okay. might be. There might. I mean, there might be one, and it would be. It would be certainly a nice thing to think about. But uh, I don't see any evidence of it. I, mean, I feel strongly. I mean, I, I just don't see. Since I don't see any evidence, I'd, I'd rather take the zero position, which is nothing there. Ra ra easier, easier trying to explain that you know there is a god, and but and he's allowed really horrific things to happen for some unknowable reason, which I'd rather. Yeah. <laughs> that seems. <laughs> yeah. Hmm, that takes a lot of thinking. <laughs> Who's to thought? Creates an idea. That's all it took. Idea, idea, idea. The observer. Many names <laughs> for one God. You know? God, this keeps coming through. This is yeah, God yeah. gaining consciousness through God. God bless. God bless you. <laughs> they said they found a new planet. So what? I got Gleese in my gut, a new world in my nut. The next time I bust, just shut the fuck up. The world's cold like a thought's gone froze If anything goes, then take me to your leader Can form or die? Well, I choose neither You must be schizo and chappy You think you're an original and that's what makes you sloppy We're all just a copy, a copy of a copy It's gonna take more than an asteroid to drop me It's gonna take more than an asteroid to drop me The kid's running, the school's gunning The new fools is coming and we're just sitting back crying Cause everybody's dying Fuck you and yours. I'm looking for Gleese. Wait, 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 put your head in. Like, oh, you, my head, my head is in. No, but like the back of your hair. Yep. <laughs> okay. You gotta understand that. <laughs> you gotta understand my head was in soap. <laughs> did you find Gleese? Oh I did God. not find Gleese. <laughs>